Hello, welcome to Sunny Segments on Mondays, and I didn't really have anything planned for today's video, but there is this one book I've been wanting to talk to about, talk about with you people that uh, I find very interesting. This book is called Ready Player One. Here it is right here. It's by Ernest Klein, and so you can tell by the cover. You see mobile homes stacked, and there's a, a person climbing up there to the top. And just by looking at that, you can probably tell it's a, a book about the future. Overpopulation, rundown, you know, resources are all gone, almost. But uh, the book opens up with this character named... Wade Watts. He describes his life, how his father named him after, because he, he was, his father was such a superhero fanatic, you know. Uh, he always, his father always uh, looked at like Peter Parker, Clark Kent, those type of things, those type of characters. He wanted to name him after, a, you know, after like those, so that's why it's W.W. Wade Watts. Anyways, um, the story opens up with uh, Wade Watts describing this this guy named James Halliday, who's the uh, in the future they they say gameplay and the game culture has evolved, and it's sort of like this virtual world that everyone's involved with. It it's easier to travel around virtually and but even though it still costs money, it's easier to see places. The worlds are much larger because they expand them in the virtual world. It it uh, it's James Halliday created the Oasis and that stands for the Antho anthologically Anthropocentric Sensory Immersive Simulation. It's a multi-game player simulation. And it's made with uh, his buddy Ogden Morrow, who works for the GSS, which is the Gregarious Simulation Systems. Anyways, the book talks about James Halliday passing away and leaving his billions and billions of dollars to no heir. Halliday created this game with this al almanac called Anorak's Almanac that people follow. He hidden three different keys for people to find. If you can find the key, all three keys, then you'd be able to get his money and run, you know, Oasis. And that has a lot of money, especially when the population has increased and, and money is tight. But Wade Watts tells in the beginning, this is his story of how he has solved everything. How he's made it. And it's a good book. I recommend it for basically anyone who's ever played online games, who's ever interested in virtual reality, the future, and it's been rated at least four and a half out of five stars on every book review site that I've seen. And it's pretty good. They they said they're going to make a movie out of this, but I'm not sure when. I think it's Warner Brothers has bought the rights to the movie already. And it'll be interesting to see how it's all played out since it's about the future. It takes place in the year 2044. There's a lot of references to 80s pop culture because of uh, James Halliday was obsessed with 80s pop culture. That's what the the decade he grew up in so there's a lot of movie references video game references all in the 80s but the book 
is takes place in 2044. So I recommend it. Here's the book one more time. Ernest Klein. He had his own his own contest with this book. He's hidden clues all over this book and in real life. And he made a contest to see who can find the clues, get everything. And the winner actually won a DeLorean car. That's pretty cool. Of course, I haven't solved it yet, so... <laughs> You'd have to know a lot about 80s pop culture, like Atari. Stuff like that. Well, anyways, that's my video today. This is Sunny. Until next week.